Oh, come on. If you, Carol, you have a baseball bat. If this woman punches you to death, I'm going to be really disappointed in you. Counterattacks as well. <laughs> that was quite possibly the greatest counterattack of all time. It was like le legitimately a fucking uppercut. She keeps uppercutting. <gasps> Hey everybody, welcome back, Falcon Shelter, day 58. I'm pretty sure this could be the last episode, unfortunately, because... Not because we're doing bad in terms of water and food, we're, we're surviving quite well about that, but we have two back-to-back -back radiation traumas that are going to be hitting us pretty soon. We have two people that are about to die, and each one of them is going to cost us 60 trauma, meaning we're going to probably all go into catatonic state. That could be the end of the run right there. I'm a bit worried about it. Let's actually unpause here and see how it plays out for us, but, you know, it's not looking too good right now. I really need them to find some radiation tablets right now on their trips, but I don't think it's going to happen. We'll see. Oh, you need to, yeah, you approach the strangers now. If anything, what I'm hoping for is that I need to spread out their debts as much as possible, meaning she needs to die right now, and then the next person is going to die, needs to die a bit afterwards, so we can at least get a little bit of a trauma down slowly before it hits us back to back. So I'm going to actually bully over here. Don't run away, I need to fight you. So yeah, go ahead and go for the kill. You're not going to kill her, obviously, I just need you to die now. So Carol should be able to kill you with that baseball bat. Come on, Carol. <laughs> You're breaking my balls here. Kill. Oh, come on. If you, Carol, you have a baseball bat. If this woman punches you to death, I'm going to be really disappointed in you. Counterattacks as well. <laughs> that was quite possibly the greatest counterattack of all time. It was like le legitimately a fucking uppercut. She keeps uppercutting. <gasps> no! Carol, come on! No, stop! Carol, god damn it. You need, to, you need to kill Kimberly. Okay? I'm actually rooting for you to kill my individual here. Alright, this is it. Just two swings. Okay, good, good. Now, let's see how much trauma... This should be 60 trauma, more than likely. But, at least it'll space it out from the other dead. Yeah, we all lost 60 trauma. That's unfortunate. Uh, three minutes of burying, incineration, incinerating, and harvesting. You can incinerate bodies? How do you do that? Huh, I didn't know that. Uh, already. Uh, trauma, yeah, yeah. Okay, so now we need to make sure that Karo is still out there. doesn't die anytime soon. He needs to stay out there for a long time till we get our trauma meter back down. So, that's what's needed right now. Now, water. You drink some water, Falcon. Melissa, can use a shower. It's not going to happen. Not with this um, a small amount of um, water that we have right now. I'll have you drink some water, though. Cynthia. Eh, get some water in you now, too. Eric. Oh, boy. Get some water, too, dog. Everybody needs water, and we're really short on water right now. Not too thrilled about this. Daniel, you're fine for the... Eh, get some food. Okay. Transmission. No, no, no. You need to make sure you stay away from everybody, because if you die right now, right now, it'll be catatonic for everybody. So we need to space out the debts right now. Uh, Cynthia, let's have you start cleaning a bit here. Eric, clean as well. I think everything is pretty much fixed for the most part, though, right? Yeah. Um, I don't think there's anything we can build right now, either. Or at least that we immediately need to build. Let's see here. Craft item. I'll take a little browse through curiosity's sake, but... This, um, we already have a toilet, so we wanted to build that one, but we didn't have enough metal at the time, so we went with the level 2 one. I don't think we need another, uh, another comfy bed. I mean, it'd be great, but we don't have the items to make that happen. Right now, the most important thing I'm going to say is going to have to be the... The medium water bud, which we need two more plastic for. This could definitely change things completely for us. As a matter of fact, plastic in general could, just because, you know, we need some gas masks to avoid all this bullshit radiation deaths that are happening now. That's the only thing that really ruined my run right now. Radiation debts and causing catatonic state on everybody. Otherwise, I think we're, you know, pretty much on cruise control right now. Yeah, there's nothing else that I can build right now, so we have to wait up on that one. Except transmission. Yeah, go ahead and search the location, man. Alrighty. A rainstorm would be great right now, but it's not going to happen. Uh, for the... What did we say we needed for the bookshelf? We need one more wood and four nails for the bookshelf. And I do want to make that happen. So one... Wood, four nails, examine items here, what do you have? None of the items that I do require, unfortunately. But hey, bring this for now and we will situate ourselves with the rest of it later. Stay out there longer though, we need the trauma to go back down. What's the trauma at now? Remember, when they die it's 60 trauma, so as long as I, get it, I can get it down to like 30 or so and then he dies, we won't go into catatonic state. It's the best way to do it, I actually found out. Just make sure that you space out the debts and you can still pull it off here. 
But until we get enough um, plastic for some gas masks or get some radiation tablets, I might have to actually start lowering my scavenging trips to, to one at a time now. Only because, um, or at least if I don't do it one at a time, I gotta make sure that there's gonna be spacing in between people dying from radiation. Uh, no, 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 avoid the house. You could die soon, and we are not ready for the trauma hit right now. Okay. Everybody else, for the most part, seems fine. Anybody sleeps? Uh, Patricia could use a little bit of sleep here. Eh, uh, sleep. Okay. Daniel, eh, might as well get your ass in bed over here. And that's fine. Cynthia could fix that. Eric, fix the stove meanwhile. Caroline, you're up here. Fix that. Uh, Falcon. Fix that. And Melissa, fix bed. Alright. Everybody's doing something at the very least. Mm, 86 and 86. Transmission grade. Ah, uh, no. Sneak away. <laughs> Avoid combat, my friend. Now, let's get this journal thing out of the way. It's been here for ages now. Wow. I, I would have a lot of reading to do if I was to do this here. Oh, we'll do the day 58. I'm not going to go through every single page right now. We can't help but fear the worst. It's been a while since our exploration party contacted us, and there has been nothing since they told us about their confrontation with these folks. Ah, uh, yeah, well. Hey, get out of here. <laughs> go away. Alrighty, kids are fine. Everything seems to be fixed for the most part. I could really use a shower. Yeah, you're telling me, but we don't have the water to make that happen right now. 7 to 50 is way too little for any showers right now. Which is a problem because it means that people are going to start going, uh, getting food poisoning because of the dirtiness. But at least nobody's puking anymore. For now. Except transmission. This makes it sound like a weird Japanese adult quote-unquote XXX film. Bunch of puke all over the place. What? I'm sorry if I've seen it. It's on, I'm on the internet, okay? You really can't, you know, on the internet, you kind of find these things without actually looking for them. You're just kind of browsing about. Suddenly, it's kind of like, oh, hey, people puking on each other. It's porn. And I'm like, really? That's porn? My lord. It's evolved quite a bit from my old days. You know, back in my days. Let's get away from the porn talk, though, huh? I would. We actually need one more of you, which is good. Uh, <laughs> I like to jump off, too. We're talking about... Japanese puking porn to uh, needing one more wood. Right. That would happen to me. I'll leave that behind, take this, and that's about it. Well, yeah, I'll leave this light bulb behind and I'll take... Eh, we'll take the matches. I, eh, yeah, I'll take the matches, I guess. Okay. How's our trauma? Oh, by the way, it's over. It's under... It's got to be under 40 at this point. So if Carl does die... We should not go into catatonic stakes, so we've actually staved that off. Oh, I'm so glad I got the Falcon strats, I guess you could probably call them. Falcon just kind of working the system over here. Uh, but we still need some rain, that is for sure. Other than that, you guys are free to just roam about for now. It must be nice. I can't send anybody out. We, have no, we don't have the water for it. And everything just seems about fixed. We keep on getting on top of everything in terms of fixing. So yeah, hey, good on you. You guys are quite fortunate to... Have no work to do. Must be nice. I have to kind of micromanage you guys here meanwhile. I guess we'll just speed up time. Oh, transmission. I don't get the chance to speed up time too often, but I think it'd probably be a good time to do it now. Um, No, just sneak away. Can't have you dying just yet. Alrighty. You guys need to use the toilet? Yeah, I know, but... Alrighty. Cynthia, just... Yeah, go ahead and use it. How much water does this use up, out of curiosity? We're at 7 to 50. We'll see after she's done with the toilet how much it actually uses up now. Search location, that's fine. Forward time. Forward time. Day 59. Hey, we got the day 58, which I didn't think was going to be a possibility. Uh, it uses up 4 water to use the toilet. Yeah, not too crazy about that amount of water being used. But I guess it makes sense. Uh, Cynthia, get some food. I guess we could feed people. If people were hungry, we could feed them. But that's as far as we're going with everything else. Melissa, sure. Get some food. Some food. And that's about it. Everybody else is just thirsty. Ah, uh, no. Sneak. Actually, you could die now, technically. But you do have a piece of wood on you, which I kind of want. So I'll have you come back and then you could die here in peace. And we could just basically harvest your body for some food. Ah, the way my mind works when I play this game. Look at all the tools that we have. We're at 70% efficiency in terms of tools. Um, ba -ba -ba. Cynthia, come over here and add some fuel, if you don't mind. Melissa turned a weakness into a strength. 
What was that weakness? I don't know, but she's got food poisoning now. That doesn't seem like much of a uh, <laughs> strength to me, honestly. Alrighty. You guys are thirsty? I know, it's not raining, I can't do much about it. Well, actually, I guess uh, we could. Whoever's really thirsty can drink the list of this water. So, Patricia, get some water in you, Daniel. Alrighty. I'm gonna feed the last bit of water to strangers as opposed to my family. Yeah. Okay, we'll have one water left over. Uh, and Falcon, you could probably just get some sleep here meanwhile. Cynthia, let's have you do much of the same. Eric, do much of the same. Alrighty. That's fine. Melissa, I thought I was gonna use some sleep. No? You're just hanging out, puking? Alright. So, Carolyn, do some cleaning of the shelter. Oh, a dog needs to be fed. Alright, here comes Carl to die. Luckily, our trauma has now basically subsided completely. So, even if he dies, it's not going to put us in a catatonic state. So, we were able to avoid that bullet. But he is dying. And it's going to fill up our food, our pantry. So, <laughs> is it really the worst thing out there? Probably not. Here he comes. Now, we have enough wood to make, uh, what was it we're looking for now? The bookshelf. Now, all we need are nails. Yes, I'm done transferring. So, Carl, you hang out over here. I will be having you finally die, my friend. I know, you've been struggling. You've had a hard life. He's like, you know, he's like punished snake in a sense, you know? Oh, great! The rain that finally happened happened to be black. Oh, good. Nice dirtiness. Alrighty, everybody needs to get water now, then. Before it becomes a big issue and everybody gets poisoning. If it's under 10, it's not a big deal. So he says. You guys gotta hurry up, though. If it's over 10, it's gonna be a problem. Okay, never mind. Never mind. It's not gonna... No, no water for anybody, actually. Cynthia, stop the water. No more water for anybody. You guys can take showers, though, and um, poop and everything like that. So, let's start using pooper again. Daniel... You will use toilet afterwards. And Carl, you just need to die, so I'll forget about you. Falcon could use a shower. Let's wake Falcon up and just have him take a shower then. Melissa, you'll shower afterwards. Cynthia, you will shower afterwards, so come down here too. Eric is uh, needs a shower too. Let's get you in line for the shower. Caroline could use a little bit of everything, honestly. But take a sleep here, meanwhile. We'll deal with everything else afterwards. Dirtiness is at 13%. I would love to send somebody out right now. Actually, I could do that. I could do that. Yeah. Uh, alrighty. Ooh, yeah, there goes the trauma from Carl dying. No catatonic, at least, though. Who's gonna butcher this guy down? Who could do that for me without taking too much of a hit here? I guess Patty probably could. Or Daniel. Daniel is harvest his body before he becomes an issue. 44, 50. All right, Falcon, come over here and use toilet. Who needs a shower afterwards? Uh, Melissa, we said. Melissa, come over here and take shower. Hurry up. Stop puking. Stop puking. I like how he carries that body. Just going down the stairs, carrying a body. Don't mind me. Okay. Caroline, let's have you do some cleaning around here. Meanwhile, Patricia, and you just need shower. Come over here. Water storage at capacity. Great. Uh, we need to send somebody out. It's going to have to be... Hmm. Melissa, get out of there. I'm going to send Patricia out on the next journey. Oh, it stopped raining. Oh, that was too soon. Damn it. Well, I mean, we got up to 46 to 50, and the dirtiness should go back down, which is actually pretty ideal, but I was hoping that we could send somebody an expedition, fill up our thing again, and have somebody out there. Oh, boy. Okay, we're going to have to send somebody out there regardless of which, then. Set up expedition here. Who needs to go out? One of my family members. So we have Caroline, who could escape from battles, and pretty decent charisma. Not amazing, but pretty decent. Patricia could kind of escape. Really charismatic. And then we have Percep... She's actually really perceptive, right? Yeah. I think we're going to do away with Daniel. So, Daniel, you're going out there. I'm not going to kill you just yet, dog. You're going to go out there to survive. We have enough water to make this happen. You are going to be going down... Where, where, where? You haven't been to Darkby in a while. Well, actually, we passed through there, but... Six days ago. Uh, apparently, things regenerate after three or four days, so... A lot of these should have some stuff on them now. What location are we going to go down to? What if we just go over here? We have not been all the way down here. 
If we find nothing, though, it's a waste of a trip. And we need some plastic right now. Okay. Here's what we're going to do. We're going to be doing small reservoir. And down through here. Through here. Through here. All these places. And on the way back. Let me get rid of that one. I'm going to give you the rucksack, so you're going to be able to carry a lot. I need you to find some stuff for me. 34 water, 35. Alrighty, this will be... We'll be left with only 10 water, but I'm going to make this happen because I think we need some items really, really badly right now. So you're going to take the rucksack. You cannot die, Daniel. Whatever you do, do not fucking die. I'm equipping you with that. I'm going to give you the knife. And that's all I can really afford to give you now. Uh, you know what? Take a, a trade bait item just in case we run into somebody on the road. And we'll take a... Um, let's see. What can we take with us to trade here? Valium has a pretty decent trade value. So we'll do like one Valium. Okay. Alrighty, my friend. You're going to get radiation poisoning. For your sake, I hope you find some radiation tablets. That's all I can really say right now. Alrighty. Melissa could have used a shower. That's not going to happen anytime soon now because we are only left with 11 water. All right, Daniel, good luck to you. Daniel Craig, James Bond. All righty, now back at home. What do we need here? Well, showers and water. Uh, yeah. Cynthia, get some water, sure. Eric, get some water. Caroline, get some water. Patricia, oh, wait, wait, no, no. <gasps> no, stop with the water. No. Radiation poisoning. Oh, it didn't happen, thankfully. The, the, the dirtiness, if it's over 10, I believe you have a good chance of getting it. I'm so lucky Cynthia didn't actually contract it. I forgot about that completely. Hooey! Oh, good God, I almost shit myself, because then that would have been like, you know, my kids dying. I don't mind if strangers die, but if my kids die, then that's when I feel I've actually really failed the game. But as long as my family's alive, it's all fair game. Dirtiness is at 6%. I'm going to wait till it's at 0 before we start having people drink water, just to be on the safe side here. I don't really want to risk it right now. Uh, you fix this here, meanwhile. Patricia, fix that. Falcon, fix that. Melissa, stop puking. Cynthia, fix this. Eric, fix that. <laughs> uh, it's how I amuse myself when there's not much going on. Melissa, fix this. And let's go ahead over here and accept this transmission. Um, yes, approach the strangers. If they want to trade, good. If not, uh, you kill them. I think it's pretty simple. He's got a rock. You have a knife. We're fine. Let's see if he wants to trade. Well, let's get down to business. Oh, he's down to trade. Good. Uh, okay. He really doesn't have anything that I need too badly. How's my Valium? 20 trade value, right? Well, we could do that. That. I don't mind trading the Valium away for some of this stuff, too. So, let's see. We have a trade value of 20 going on. Uh... Cordite. Hmm. It's not going to tell us how many we have back at home, right? It's just telling us the trade value. I wish it would tell you the trade value and how many you actually have back home, but it doesn't do that. I don't like that too much. Uh, for explosives, though. Hmm. No, I guess I'll go with this stuff. I'll leave the Cordite behind. 18. Yeah, that's fine. All right, Valium. There you go. Good. Luckily for us, not big a problem. Now at least we have some more items that in case we run into somebody else and wants to trade, we have some items on us that we can trade away for them. All right, so everything should be fixed now. Great. How's our supply of water? Zero percent? Great. Now we all drink now. So you get some water in here, Cynthia. Eric, get some water. Caroline, get some water. Patty, you can hold up. Falcon, get some water. And Melissa, get some water. Patty, let's have you just clean the shelter here meanwhile. All right, let's get rid of this journal entry as well. Day 59, I can't believe that we lost Carl today. It's so sad we didn't want him to go to waste. Things are that desperate here. <laughs> I guess it's alluding to the fact that we just ate that man. How much food do we have? 33 of 40. Ah, soil and greens, right? Soil and greens. All right, incoming radio transmission. Uh, a small reservoir. Yeah, search the location. You could probably find some good water there too. So that's okay. 62 and 58. Cynthia, let's send you up here to fix some of these things here, meanwhile. 
Uh, you found some people there? Yeah, let's get you involved. Remember, you should be a pretty decent fighter, so as long as there's not many people, you should be okay. And we could, we're could we down to trade, too. He's got a knife. So we both have knives. Uh, let's see here. It's been a while since I messed anyone up. Good. Oh, he wants to fight. So we will fight. Oh, he's leaving. Oh, Gary, you coward. You want to fight and you leave? How dare you, you jerk. I guess we found nothing in the reservoir, though. That's unfortunate. Uh, Melissa, are you getting some water? What is it you're doing? You're just puking. Just puking away. Let's get you some sleep, then. Anybody else need any sleep? Caroline could use a little shut-eye. Sure. All right, Carolyn, let's get you some sleep here. Oh, and you need this door open, right? <laughs> there you go. Get on out of here. All right. Water is pretty low. Yeah, I'm aware. Hey, day 60 at least, right? Let's forward time here. Set transmission. Uh, yeah, go ahead and approach the strangers. I feel relatively confident with uh, Daniel over here. He is James Bond, after all. One person? Not too bad. Sledgehammer. That's bad. Trade. All I got left are my weapons and a hell of a headache. She's not down for it. Good. At least it's not a fight. Let's, uh, let's see. Where is uh, my daughter? After you're done with that one, let's have you also fix that. And let's just forward time again. Oh, rain! Thank God! Uh, toilet! Caroline, wake up! Take shower. Really quickly. Patricia! Oh, you don't need... Okay, never mind. You stop that one. Come over here and use toilet. You need shower. Uh, Falcon, you are fine, but let's have you drink some water, too. Melissa, hey, who's that guy? Melissa could use the toilet as well. Let's get her up from sleeping. Stop puking. Please stop puking. Cynthia's fine. Eric could use some food, and that's in a shower as well. Get you some food. Caroline, toilet, she's done with it. Great. Fix this meanwhile. Who could use toilet? 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 Melissa? Use toilet. Transmission coming in. Cynthia... Use a uh, shower. Down here. Set transmission. Uh, medium house, yes. That's like a pretty... Sounds like a good place to search, honestly. A medium house as opposed to a small one. More liable to find some good stuff. Did you find anything? You got involved with somebody instead of finding something. Okay, it's fine. Let's hope there's not too many people in this medium-sized house. Oh, only one person. Pretty amazing bright pants on her as well. She's got a gun. Don't like it too much. I've got plenty of gear if you want to trade. Oh, good. Yeah. Oh, pipe. Oh, I'm so happy to see that. And wool as well. Okay. I, I need the pipe. I need the wool. Got Valium. I just traded Valium away recently, so that's okay. I don't think I need that many books right now. Spring is only one trade value. This is 10. Take some duct tape. So we're up at to 12 right now, correct? Let's trade this away. And I guess if I didn't need that, I could just do... Six for trade? No, no. So we'll do... There you go. I like it enough. Cool. Can I also search the house now that I'm done trading with you, though? <laughs> Please let me do it. Please let me go through your belongings. You're actually letting me do it. Perfect. Ah, Christ. Nothing really great, though. Alrighty, just pick it up for now. Okay. Are you done with your shower now? Just about enough. Okay. Uh, next shower. Melissa. Take shower. Stop you can take shower, please. Cynthia, yeah, use toilet. Eric, come over here. Get ready for toilet. Caroline needs a shower as well. Transmission coming in. Go ahead and approach the strangers, my friend. See, do I have anything of trade value? I really need some plastic. One of you guys have to carry plastic, right? Lady with hot pink pants again. Angela, we will try to trade. That's all. You want to fight? No, you're not going to fight. Great. I actually prefer you to want to fight. Uh, Patricia's really thirsty. Come over here and drink some water. Everything else you're fine with. Good. Falcon, pretty good overall. Get some sleep here. Melissa's taking her shower finally. Cynthia, done with the restroom. You'll take a shower afterwards. Uh, you use toilet. Caroline needs a shower. You hang out here. Patricia is fine. Let's have you get some more water. And I think I'll probably think about having you clean a bit too. So, yeah, clean shelter afterwards. And once you're done cleaning, I need you to fill the dog bowl up. Falcon's just sleeping. Melissa, let's finish up with that shower soon. More people need a shower. Let's get you out of there now. Come over here and get some water. Cynthia, take your shower finally. And then Eric, you'll be next, son. 
Oh, Caroline. I forgot about Caroline, too. God damn it. We still need one more shower, honestly. Yeah, boy. Caroline, get some water, meanwhile. How about that one? Falcon, you're cool. Now let's take it in some water. Cynthia, hurry up with that shower, please. Need you to get your uh, brother in here afterwards. Transmission. What do we have? Search location for a medium house again. Another medium house. All right. Cynthia, almost done there? I need to get Eric in there. Yeah, you're fine. Eric, time for that shower finally, son. Cynthia, I'll have you fix the shower meanwhile. I don't need that being broken up. And Caroline, you need a shower too. Patricia, you're, I think, feeding dog bowl after you're done cleaning. Yes, approach the strangers. This might be the last thing we do for the episode, guys, because we've run on a little bit extra time here today, but I wanted to get some of this important done. Look at this bald guy. God damn, you're so bald. He doesn't even look human. He kind of looks like an albino version of E.T. from the Atari game. Let's see if he wants to trade, though. No, he doesn't want to do that. But he doesn't want to fight either, so that's good. Oh, transmission. Oh, search location, yeah. Alrighty, guys, we're going to wrap it up here. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Leave a thumbs up. Day 61, almost day 62. Full water, good food, and um, trauma is under control, finally. Oh, good stuff. Good stuff ahead. I will catch you next time.